Hello and welcome to Mid-Island Custom Diecast. My name is Evan. Today we have a Hot Wheels Hall and Gas for the Three Blind Mice Invitational. As we take a look on the turntable, this is the 2013 uh, Pop Culture casting featuring Felix the Cat on both sides in a yellow, white, black and chrome motif. We've already gone ahead and drilled and tapped the posts. We'll take the screws out and have a look at all the pieces. Obviously it's got the real rider, five spokes, it's the body you can see the nice long posts, those are tapped. 256 screws, the windshield, is just a little thing brand new out of the package we won't need to do any work there here's the chrome interior and tank section and the base with real riders and five spoke chrome mags nothing no work to do there either so we'll throw the body into the stripper this again is the circa 1850 super d solver gel which is available at your hardware stores in Canada anyway. I'm going to make sure that we spread it around the casting and about a half an hour later you can see that the paint and tampos and everything come off nice and easy. So after a scrub with some soapy water and brass brush in the sink ready to move on to the Dremel here you can see quite a bit of paint still on the inside and all in all the little uh, body panel lines and now we'll take the wire brush attachment on the Dremel and work out all that paint from the nooks and crannies remove any oxidation and while we're doing this checking for casting lines uh, which there really wasn't much of I didn't have to spend too much time on this one uh, first of all it was brand new and I guess they tend to do a little better job sometimes maybe on the pop culture uh, but you can see there are some casting lines along the top and back uh, right there but we got rid of those sanded them out and after that threw some primer on it and I noticed this huge scratch on the passenger side here so filled it with some Bondo spot putty uh, actually I think it's a Mastercraft uh, brand spot putty but uh, that's beside the point filled that and sanded it till we were yeah pretty happy nice and smooth there now So after putting another coat of primer on and letting that dry, take it to the booth and spray it with a Duplicolor a Bright White or Polar Arctic, I don't know what it's called, it's white. After getting a couple of base coats of white on and letting that dry for a little while, we've taped it off with some... Uh, vinyl masking tape around the fenders and bottom section and regular Tamiya masking tape around the top and I'm taking a Tamiya mica red or something it's a red 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 um, from Tamiya yeah getting that on the bottoms around the fenders and around the tank at the top there's a nice two-tone red and white Canadian theme. And while we set this aside to dry, we're going to put the interior section in a little plastic cup. Spray some Easy Off Oven Cleaner, the blue can on it, and that'll strip all that chrome away. We'll let that sit for a few hours. 
after the paint's dry, uh, likely the next day, we got these homemade decals. Co-op is probably the largest Canadian oil and gas company. Certainly, uh, it's the gas station I fill up at all the time. Uh, you'll see here that, um, well, if you can't tell, it is my first time doing decals, first time printing decals, uh, but we managed okay. Once we've got the location sorted out, I'm going to take a Q-tip or cotton bud, if you will, and just kind of run it along the edges, pulling out any extra moisture. Um, once that's done and it's in the position I like, I'll take the Q-tip and roll it over. Now we're moving on to some detail painting which as you know if you watch my videos is not my favorite thing to do um, but we did the front markers in orange here um, I did the headlights in a chrome silver got some null oil in the panel lines <clears throat> excuse me and uh, in the front grill the whatever these lights are called on the roof we did those in Tamiya orange And as we move to the back, I did all four of the tail lights with a Tamiya acrylic red. And I also did the null oil around the back, the tail lights, and through, I think you can see it there a little bit, the um, compartment doors on the side. After the detail paint has had a chance to dry, now we'll take a Tamiya clear. Oh, first we'll remove some dust or something and give it a couple of coats of clear and throw it in the toaster oven for I usually throw it in the toaster oven at the lowest temperature possible for about 10 minutes and I find in the high humidity here on the west coast that really really helps the clear coat dry without wrinkling so anyway with the casting in the incubator I'm moving on to painting the top of the tank covers uh, with the Tamiya chrome silver paint. I really like this paint. Um, I think it represents metal much better, <laughs> obviously much better than the Hot Wheels chrome plastic that they love to use so much. So we'll give that a good paint. I didn't do any details on the interior on this one. It's so small uh, and I figured you just can't really see it so no big deal here's all the parts the so first we'll put the window together then goes the interior and the base put it right side up the base we didn't touch on this one I uh, didn't need to be polished wheels didn't need to be swapped uh, so a really pretty pretty easy one for me once we get these screws in give it a little test and go back to a reminder of how we started and now we'll have a look at where we ended up I want to thank the three blind mice for putting on these events every I guess every other month next year every month this year this is my first one and I thoroughly enjoyed it uh, if you like the videos and you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe and especially comment. I like to respond and see what you guys all have to say. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave you with a few shots uh, outside the wrong gas station, but a gas station all the same. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.